information and functions available from the main menu. The main menu includes several pieces of data regarding the operational status of the boiler. You can see the current condition of the thermostat and OP contacts, the status of the pump command, the current boiler water leaving temperature, and the current status of the heater elements. Using the forward arrow button, you can scroll through the various sensors, inputs, and outputs to get focused information on those points. Let's take a quick look at how the various pieces of information are presented. The first is the current boiler set point. When not using a weather compensated control strategy, the set point can be adjusted using the up and down arrows from here. When using a weather compensated control with the outdoor sensor, the display shows the current calculated boiler water temperature set point based on the current outdoor air temperature. In this view, we can see the little red dot beside the temperature indicates that this is the weather compensated calculated set point and is not adjustable. Next is the boiler water return temperature, followed by boiler water supply temperature, then boiler water flow in gallons per minute followed by boiler pressure in pounds per square inch, and then the current heater element output represented in BTUs per hour times 100. Did you notice that since the beginning of this section of the video, the LED beside the radiator symbol went from green to red? This indicates that the boiler water temperature has dropped below the set point plus the differential and the heater elements are on currently making heat. Reading and using the information from the home screen display menus. In this view of the home screen display, we can see that beside the little icon of the house, the LED is green. This indicates that the OP terminal is closed and the thermostat is calling for heat. And if the thermostat was not calling, the LED would be off. The OP terminal from the factory has a jumper installed to enable the boiler to operate. Removing the jumper and installing a dry contact switch will allow the boiler to operate as normal with the room thermostat when the contact is closed and disable all heating functions when the contact is open. Some utilities may provide a service like this that will open a dry contact during peak electrical rates and close the contact during off-peak rates. When the thermostat is closed and the OP terminal is open, the LED beside the house symbol will flash. Under this condition, all heating operations are disabled. Next to the pump icon, a solid green LED tells you that the pump is running and has met the minimum threshold for flow. If the boiler pump was running but hadn't met the minimum flow threshold, the LED would be flashing. Next to the pump is the outlet water temperature icon. When the LED beside it is solid green, the display is showing the current boiler supply water temperature. Next to the radiator icon, a red LED indicates that there's an active call for heat and at least one or more of the heater elements is running. A green LED would indicate that there is an active call for heat, but the boiler has reached its set point, so the heater elements are off. When the LED is off, it indicates that the heating is off. Indications when the thermostat is calling and the thermostat is satisfied from the home screen menu. When the thermostat calls for heat, the LED beside the house icon will turn green, and the pump icon will flash until adequate flow is proven. A few seconds after boiler flow is proven, the boiler will get a call for heat indicated by a green LED. If the boiler water temperature is below set point, that icon will turn red within a few seconds, indicating that the heater elements have been engaged. When the space temperature is satisfied and the thermostat contacts open, the LED next to the house symbol will go out. The LED next to the radiator symbol will also go out. The LED next to the pump symbol will go out when the pump stops after the post-purge time. 